Welcome back to our learning session uh, entitled, If You Give a Mouse, a Pig, a, a Moose. Uh, we're actually excited this week to put a writing instrument in your child's hand. We're going to actually use sheet cover sheets. Um, so you're going to want to get your dry eraser marker from your pencil case. And we have two fun things to try to do with that writing instrument. And let me show you. This is activity number four. These are pre-writing worksheets. All of these are really focused on the strokes that are used in making the letters. Like the first ones are the lines like the downstroke of a B or a T. And at the top are a cross stroke like you would see in the top of a T. The next strokes are those round strokes that are needed for O's and P's and B's. And the last stroke is a bone stroke used in our letters like A or X. As this is a sheet, protected sheet, you want to use your dry eraser marker on it. Um, and then you can wipe it off so you could use it over and over again. Uh, on, on the back of the sheet, you're going to see another sheet. Um, and if the child is really into writing, they can try tracing some of the lowercase letters. Like all of our activities, I want to remind you when the child is done, they're done with the activity. You know, it's tempting to try and make them finish it, but remember there are going to be plenty of opportunities for them to learn. The most important part of the activities is that they find joy in them. It will sustain them through the 18 years of school. Now, when they begin for the first time to make letters, it will be really, really hard to make the right shapes. If you don't believe me, try making something in a different language that we're not really familiar with, like this Chinese character. Well, I hope that your child will enjoy playing with the writing instruments. Uh, the more they learn that these things can actually convey their name or a word, the more they'll be interested in doing it. This is activity number five. Uh, in the bag marked five, you're going to find ten sets of cookies. Each of the cookies has objects um, that are shapes and are in different colors. These shapes represent triangles, squares, rectangles, hearts, trapezoids. Um, and the colors, you know, are green, blue, red, and purple. So basically each cookie has a different set of um, number of objects. And each one of those objects is uh, has different colors on it. So you can see on the left, um, we have a cookie that has nine red triangles. And on the right, we have a cookie that has seven purple squares. This activity really consists of having the cloud classify uh, by one thing, either the number, the color, or the shape. And using your number and color cards to give them an example of what they're looking for will help them find what they're, you know, what you're asking for. Be sure to use the language that we're trying to develop. So for example, if we're working on a number, you want to say how many red triangles are in here. If you're looking for shapes, you could say, can you find um, a cookie that has triangles on them or circles? Now you might, they might get confused because there are multiple attributes on the cookie. Um, so you may have ones that say that all of the things are circles, which is true, but it's not what we're ranking. So be sure to point and give them an example by doing it yourself. I think they'll enjoy these and come back to these. And then, of course, you know, you could use them in your own home as uh, cookies for any uh, cookie shop that you might happen to open up. This is activity number six, pancakes. Ooh, that's right. You and your child are going to make pancakes. And in your box, you should find a recipe, uh, both in English and Spanish. Before you get started, you want to assemble all of the ingredients You'll need a bowl, a pan to fry the pancakes in, and a spatula to turn them over. Now you want to start by reading the recipe together. Um, but the kind of general gist of how they are made is, you know, in the bowl you'll put the dry ingredients, and then you'll add the wet ingredients. You'll mix it until it's smooth. As it turns out, lumps are not good in pancakes. And then with 
in a skillet with butter, you'll pour uh, a little bit of butter on uh, batter onto the skillet, and it'll form a pancake. You'll know when it's time to flip them over when you see lots and lots of bubbles and it's brown underneath like we see in this one. Now many people eat these with just butter, but pancakes are good with jam or syrup and you'll get an opportunity to find out how your family actually likes them. Well, we hope you enjoyed cooking together with your child and of course the pancakes themselves. And uh, But next week we're going to be making muffins and I'll see you then.